Good morning, frog log. Um, so this is how it happens. You wake up in the morning, you look like this, you haven't done anything to get ready, and you go over to the tank, and voila. Eggs, there's eggs. So I've already collected a few. This is just a few that I have not yet collected because what I do is come over into the tank, see if there's eggs, turn on the light, collect what I can, shut off the light, Go do some, oh, there they are right there. There's the culprits. We'll make a coffee, drink my coffee, come back and check to see if there's more eggs. So we just turn back on the light and sure enough, there's usually more eggs. So I'm gonna go collect those. So I don't know how well this video is gonna work, but I'm gonna try and videotape myself collecting these eggs. There's them, and then we walk them ooh, all the way over here. Drop them in the egg tank. Now, yesterday I collected a whole bunch of eggs, so there's already eggs in there that are starting to turn. And by turn, I mean turn into frogs. So in this video, you're gonna see some of the frogs that I said are starting to turn. There's Oh, quite a few of them right down there and of course I just collected some more eggs today so by tomorrow they'll also start to look like these some of the eggs in here are ones that did not get fertilized and then therefore they will not turn they will just start to go fuzzy over the course of a few days and that's when I will take them out and at that point these guys should be free swimming meaning they're not stuck to anything anymore and they need to start eating. So then we start feeding them. After about a week or two weeks, they start looking like this. They get a little bit bigger and I move them out of that mesh breeder box and they go into a plastic breeder box. And this is where they will spend the bulk of their time until they start growing arms and legs, at which point they get moved to a new breeder box. Because these guys can only be with like size, meaning that if one is bigger than another, they'll eat it. And then here we've got the arms and leg tank. So it's extremely hard to videotape these guys. I apologize for the shaky, uh, unfocused video that I'm trying to show you. But it is so hard to videotape these guys, especially when I have a lens on the top of my camera trying to make uh, more close-up views, which doesn't do a good job if it's far away. See, I can't focus on that guy no matter what I do. So I have to hope that they come up to the front of the so I can get a little bit of a video of them. You can see the tail there. It looks like it's starting to rot. Well, that's part of the process. Um, that's what's going to happen over the course of the next few weeks to a month. That tail will get absorbed and we will officially have a full frog. Yay!